I am a partisan marine. I've traveled all across the world. Jungles. Deserts. The rolling hills. Nothing has ever come close to this jungle here and now. I hunt for the one known as Ezekiel Garris. Nothing has ever come close to this jungle here. Well, uh, today we're going to find out, can coveralls fit? So the question is, can coveralls be tactical? Today we're going to find out. You guys just saw the footage. Those are known as Partisan Marines. They were a project of mine that I did a little while ago. Um, if you guys are interested, go ahead and let us know. Put it down in the comments. We definitely are going to film more of that. There's a whole story and script that I wrote when I was in college. Are they worth it? Can you manipulate? A coverall to fit your needs. Can you put in knee pads? Is it good material? Is the stitching all right? Well, today we're gonna go over that. Start the video. Lads, ladies, fellow countrymen and women, thank you guys for coming back to a Mr. Hollywood Productions. Now, the question is, in the future, are we going to have coveralls? Are we going to be in like little jumpsuit? Here's the deal. GBRS had a maritime assault suit uh, video. Now, they go over the green that the maritime assault suit or the MAS uh, was using. That was the whole purpose of their video. But it got me thinking, pondered my mind, do actual maritime assault suits basically it's a it's a onesie if you will uh or just a, a coverall do they exist for the civilian market i googled i looked no i couldn't find any and the ones i did were 
outrageously expensive. But for the most part, everything I got was like old Russian surplus um, uh, jumpsuits, even uh, I think US, some US military stuff. But at any rate, I didn't find anything that suit my fancy, right? Will civilians soon own or even manufacture and produce their own maritime assault suit? Can the maritime assault suit cover all your needs coming out to the range, fighting tyranny, fighting an invading cartel or Chinese force? Hypothetically, of course. Will it be possible? Will it suit your fancy? Well, possibly, but not right now. <laughs> dude, dude. So, uh, okay. So the red cap, uh, this one specifically, if you guys want to buy one, um, I'd highly recommend uh, definitely sizing it. The crotch area was just a nightmare. A really hard problem right now. I think the way the chest is cut along with like the little crotch area i'm getting pinched up i'm not gonna lie to you guys this is not a children's show it's not a kid's show so i'm just gonna be blunt about it but uh, i'm getting pinched up pretty bad right now when i take a when i kind of stand at a posture like this right when i'm vertical puffing out my chest a little bit yeah the boys are getting just reamed up okay ready how many steps uh let's do five five steps yep. set go a long time ago with another film company that I owned uh, called St. Nick Productions. What we did is we got one of these guys. We were filming a sci-fi genre film and we needed some space marines, right? And that was the footage that you saw uh, in the intro. And so what we did was got a red cap cover all. There she is. Getting into the nuts and bolts of it, the maritime assault suit. I'm not specifically certain what fabric they use for that. Uh, for this guy, it is a polyester uh, cotton blend. So it's 65% polyester, 35% cotton. It's not bad. It's got, it's got love all over it. Okay, not in a sexual way, but like holes and dings and cuts and stuff. Um, it's been loved in no doubt. It's been on set and film and done a lot of running around in the mud and stuff. So um, it didn't hold up as well as I had hoped. Now, uh, previously when I had it on, I told you guys it's very uncomfortable and uh, things are just not sitting the way that they should in a normal pant. So obviously that's a problem. Um, and the whole reason for this video, the whole reason, five, 16 minutes into it. So the whole reason for this video is, can it be done? Can we change or can civilians start getting in the market of a maritime assault suit? What I want to do with this, uh, th these coveralls are, in my opinion, my soon-to-be maritime assault suit. What I want to do is um, we're going to add some knee pad and elbow pad pockets. Uh, along with that, obviously, the essentials. They're going to need a belt loop system around the waist so that you can easily fit our belt. The belt fit on just fine with all of the fixings, but it'd be nice to have an actual belt loop properly stored. All right. You guys go ahead. <laughs> Where's this shadow going? Is it coming into my eyeballs? <laughs> Every time I watch videos, bro, I just see like a little shadow hand just start grabbing my ass and whatnot. No, he's trying to grab me. <sighs> All right. Mm, look how deep it goes. <laughs> 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 Get it? That fucking would hurt. Get it? What are you drawing? Is that the David Star? No. Honey. Is that the David Star? Lads, ladies, fellow countrymen and women, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. Uh, definitely let us know what you guys think. If uh, if you guys want to see more of this, we'll definitely show off more of our uh, Space Marines that we made back in the day uh, with that other channel and project. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, but most importantly, most importantly, like, comment, sub subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, share videos like this one. Keep promoting American patriotism. So far, all the gun tubers are uh, are at attack. You know, big uh, big media, big corporations don't like sharing this American patriotism. So be sure to support us as best you can. Be sure to support everyone else out there. Uh, go ahead. Uh, to follow us on Patreon, check out our website. We got plenty of merch and camouflage coming in. So hopefully you guys like some of that. Let us know if there's a specific camo you guys want to see us rendition. Anything else you guys want to see, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I will not control the comments. Comments are out of control, as Plaid Daddy says. Thanks, guys, so much. Uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, let us know what you guys think. Let us know what you want to see. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys. 
just to trim off the top. Yeah. Well, actually, this was. Uh, I'm gonna bitch on safety. Jeez. There's no shame in aiming for a man's testicles. It's a kill shot. They'll bleed out in a couple minutes. Oh. Got a schnoz on him. This is not a joke to offend anyone. If you're offended, you know who you are. <laughs>